Will you be okay for a minute while I go I'm get so some tissues? I'm so sorry. I don't usually fall apart like this. But I'm just so sorry. Stop right apologizing. Now you sit down and I'll be right back. Here you go. Oh, thank you, dear. Now I want you to listen to me. You mustn't give up hope about Casey. You have to have patience and the faith to believe that he will be returned to his mother. Do you really think that everything's going to be all right? Oh, I'm certain of it. I admire your optimism in the face of your tragedy. Losing my son? Yes, I lost him. But, you know, I found a positive way to cope with him by all the other people I've surrounded myself with. You and Joan and the other women in the support group. Through our combined efforts, anything is possible. You're an inspiration, Renee. Have you ever thought of writing about your experience? Uh, no, I could never do that. I'm just glad I was here to help. Well, you certainly have done that. Thank you so much for listening to me. You're welcome. And any time you need to talk, you just call. Well, that works both ways, you know. Well, I think now I can go home. I'd better be there, too, just in case they hear some word about Casey. I can't thank you enough, Renee. You already have. I'll see you soon. Yeah. And I'll keep good thoughts in my heart for Casey. Bless you. Bye. Bye now. for your call. What time? Very good. I'll get the boy ready. I've got my 9mm in the glove box. What else do we have? Well, I've got my Glock, I've got a 380 and an ankle holster. I think we're okay. And you, we've got a SWAT team. Remember that. No plan here. All right, let's get moving. So I guess I'll um, drive you to the station to pick up the van. Okay. Hey, cowboy. Hey. I'm going to need you to do me a favor, okay? What? I'm going to need you to keep an eye on Nikki for me. Why? Why? Well, because Nikki can get into trouble, you know, and I just need some good cowboy to keep an eye on or keep her straight, okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Did you hear that, Nikki? I got my eye on you. Like that? Exactly like that, sport. Hey, Adam. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, uh, drive your dad to the station, so we'll be right back, okay? Do you have to go to heaven? Yeah, I do, but I'll be back before you can say I'll be back. I want to tell you something. What? I'm very proud of you. Why? Because you've been a real big kid, and you've been very strong during this whole thing, and it's helped us all. Dad? Yeah? When Casey comes home, tell him to play basketball, not baseball. <laughs> I think that's some good advice. I'll tell him. Thank you. Hey, listen up, Pop. <laughs> you better come back to me, you got it? Got it. Because I lost you once, and I'm not losing you again. Well, if I don't come back, you get to keep my championship bowling pin. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Okay, let's get a move on. We don't want to be late. Nope. See you again.
be back. Turn, Nikki. Nikki. What? It's your turn. Oh. Uh. Why don't you, Why don't you just get another do-over, okay? Just roll the dice. Nikki, is something bad, bad gonna happen? No. No. I'm just worried about school. Oh. Nikki, I don't think I should take a do-over. That's just for little kids. You know what? You're right. You're right. We gotta play this like grown-ups. himself as my chauffeur. Shut up. Let's get him in the back of the van. Back doors will open. Hey, hey, hey. I'll bring Casey back. Safe and sound. Listen, I want all of you back that way. You got my word. It's 8 p.m. It's time to get Mason at the rail yards and bury his escorts. Load up. 